Welcome back to part two of the Sailing Moon Wake tutorial. We're going to pick up where we left off. You have this extra bit of hair coming out of the bun. All I'm going to do is just cut it off. Cut as closely as you can to the root without cutting the other hair that's already glued to the bun. Save that extra hair. We're going to use it for later. There's still a bit of hair not close enough. I took my scissors and I cut it so it's more flesh to the bun, much closer and brushing off the extra hair because you don't want that on there. Here you can see what it looks like when I cut off the piece. We're going to cover that all up with the extra hair left over. Again, take a small strip, like the kind you were working with the whole time. I glued the ends here to make sure that all the hairs stay together. I assume you dip it in the cold water to cool it quickly, so that the ends are not going to burn me when I work with them. Trim it up, make sure everything's nice and even. Put a glue on the inside and laying the piece of hair over it and pressing it down into the bun. I'm pulling off a little bit of the extra hair that was unnecessary. Again, you want to work with very small pieces, otherwise it doesn't all glue down properly. What I plan to do is wrap it over the top like that. Mostly this is to cover the top of the bun so that you can't see the nub left over or where the hair all came from. Make it all kind of even and more circular. Again, remember to dip your finger in cold water before touching the hot glue or the hair that's been recently glued. Use hairspray to smooth everything down and make it stay in place. It's going to start looking like that. You're going to repeat that same process two or three times in order, maybe even four if you really feel like it, in order to cover the top completely so it looks like a hair bun and not some weird apple-like shape or, you know, alien growth or something. And this is what the finished bun looks like. You can see it looks like a bun and the inside is still hollow. Here are we're going to make the pigtails or the, the tails that come out of the buns. You want to pull off the clip. It's got a string on the inside so the first thing to do is untie the string. or you can just pull it off the clip. It's pretty easy, it's kind of stretchy, so you just reach around and pull it off. So you can see the clip on the inside, and from there it's as simple as pulling the clip out. Not very hard. Clip removed. Now what you have left is this. This is what the inside of your ponytail piece looks like. You want to pull that string out, so if you didn't untie it initially, you're going to untie it now and you're going to pull the string out. 
I start by stretching it as wide as I can. And then I start pulling it out at one end. Once it's completely free of the string, open it up and look at the inside. You can see there are lines of where the hairs are uh, sewn to it. You want to cut in between one of those lines so that you're not cutting the hair. Be sure to separate it so that the hair is even on both sides. You have enough hair on both sides. It won't be exactly down the middle because of the way the ponytail is set up, so there'll be more wefts on one side than there will be on another. You can see where my middle is. My middle is actually towards one edge, and that's where the hair is most even. I made sure that the ponytails are kind of kept out of the way of the cutting, so I clipped one and then laid it down as evenly as possible. I flipped to the hair side so I can see where I'm cutting, and you'll be able to see it when you separate the hair. See, there's the line. You're going to cut along that line very carefully. Be sure not to actually cut the hair itself, just the netting. Now that piece is free, and I'm going to show you how to do this. You're going to sew the piece together so it makes like one ponytail. I rubber band my piece together so it's all together at the top and easier to sew. You're going to use your large needle and matching thread again. And I kind of rolled mine up so that I could start sewing all the wefts together at the top. Because I wanted to make more of a, a flat line at the top. see that I'm pulling up bits from the middle to make sure that I go through all the pieces in the middle and the two edges and pull the whole thing closed. Pull out the rubber band and there you have it ponytail piece is sewn together and it's okay if it doesn't look fantastic because you're going to attach it like this to underneath your pigtail stuffs make sure your wick's secure take your thread and needle once again And here I started sewing through the ponytail piece, the ones I'll attach to the wig. I kind of knot the ends or loop it through the two pieces so that I create a, a knot in order to keep it secure. And you'll see me make multiple knots through the ponytail. Once the string's at the bottom, that's when I start sewing the ponytail piece on. Bottom to middle. And make sure you're going through the weft lines and not just the hair so it has something to grip onto. You 
can even sew it to um, a bit of the white rubber band still attached to the wig to make it extra secure. And just kind of make sure that you get all parts, the edges sewn in together and the middle sewn to the wig. And you want to make sure that it's even so that the ponytail is directly in the center of the head. Last thing you'd want is a lopsided ponytail. Here you can see me still making knots to make sure everything is secure. middle, through the edge, I sew it to the rubber band, just generally do everything in my power to make sure it's very secure. When that's all done, you knot it at the very end and then you clip it off. It should be really secure, you should be able to tuck on it. And now I will show you how to attach the bun to the wig over the ponytail piece. So far your wig should look like this. Do you remember how you have that indent? Well, that indent's going to be on the bottom. See it right there? That one? That needs to go on the bottom so the ponytail has an easier time coming out of the bun. And the bun can be more flesh to the wig. We're just going to put some glue in and then push it right on. If it seems like it's a little too tight, what I did is I cut a little bit of the inside hair off in order to make the hole a little bit wider so it can fit better. Fill the bun with glue and the edges, make sure everything's there. You only get one shot to do this right because you can't pull it off, so be careful about that. And here, pushed it on a little bit difficult because it was more than a little snug. And when it's all done, it looks like that. You can see the back of it and the bun's all done all the way to the bottom. Now, some people leave it at this. I believe that the bottom should be curled, like this. And if it takes a couple times to curl them, it's okay. Arda has heat resistant wigs, so you can actually use your curling iron on low setting. Make sure it's on low setting. Last thing you want to do is melt your wig. The important thing to remember about when you curl a wig is that you have to heat up the material with your curling iron, like you kind of would for normal hair, but the key to curling a wig is that when you take the iron off, you have to wrap it around something else in order for it to keep its curl, because it's not going to keep a curl like that. And you kind of have to do it quickly before it cools, because it's the cooling process that actually curls the wig. I blew on mine a lot in order to help it cool faster. And when it felt like the hair was all cool, I pulled it out and it had a curl. In order to keep the curls, I used my Tresemme and sprayed the whole thing and kind of pat it down a little bit and twist it until it looks right. And then you repeat the process. I think I repeated the process about four times. You can very easily recurl the wigs if the curl doesn't come out right. You just redo it and it's fine. I ended up curling the left side again to make it match the right because the right curls looked a lot better than the left. I also curled the bangs under and the side pieces 
in the same process that I used to curl the uh, ends of the ponytails. As you can see, they're all together and curled. That's the back of the wig, all completed. And the ends of the ponytails, all completed. That's my Sailor Moon wig tutorial. Thanks for watching. A uh, special thanks to Art of Wigs. I've already listed them. They'll be in the information section. And yeah, good luck with your guys' wigs. Hopefully they turn out well. You should send me pictures if you take this tutorial and make a wig. So let me know how everything goes. Thanks.